And speaking of the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil, it is literally just days away, so uh, there is understandably a lot of attention on the Latin American country these days. Our Im Yunhee joins us in the studio to tell us where the focus is in, in the arts and culture scene. So let's bring her in. Good afternoon to you, Yunhee. Good afternoon. So um, you tell me that here in Korea we're privileged to be hosting some, some pieces of art by Brazil's most famous cartoonists. Mm -hmm. Right, so we saw a little bit in the past right before. Um, so one of Brazil's most famous cartoonists, Mauricio de Sousa, uh, he's most well known for his comic series called uh, uh, Monica's Gang, pardon me, but he also has some very fun renditions of some of Korea's uh, famous football heroes, both past and present. And so with that said, let's take a, look, a closer look at these cartoons along with some of his other works that he's known for. Kim Namil, Lee Young-pyo, and Kim Shinook. These are just a few of the names of World Cup players, and they've been transformed into cartoons thanks to the crafty work of Mauricio de Sousa. From reporter to cartoonist, Sousa is now beloved by Brazil's children. But this artist goes beyond the pages of a comic book to recreate some of art's most well known paintings, transforming them into pop art. I chose well-known masterpieces, then altered them to make them show the friendly nature of children. The seesaw is something most children grew up with on the playground. And it's now the center of Kim Young Bum's new exhibition. Based upon the relationship between life and death, these works show Kim's fascination with wood. Now, art is a labor, as illustrated by this artist through his pieces, but it's also a chance to show the emotions of nostalgia repressed under the bounds of an irreversible past. Now, uh, the second artist, um, you know, hey, he has some very, very interesting work, um, some a little bit frightening, I must admit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, where does he get his inspiration? <laughs> Right, so I was looking at um, some of his earlier works, not at this particular exhibition, but an earlier one, and he really seems to take inspiration from nature, from trees, like you saw the, a seesaw that incorporated the whole tree into the seesaw. But I must say, a lot of his works um, incorporates nature in a very impractical way that really makes you think twice. Right, but you know, seesaw, like mm -hmm. you said, it's, um, it has many links to children. You know, mm -hmm. when, I, when I see a seesaw, I would you know, automatically think of children mm -hmm. playing on it and stuff, and you find it in schoolyards. Right, it's a very nostalgic, you know, memory, trip down memory lane with the seesaw, and so he actually said that he wanted to incorporate this uh, nostalgia and this idea of going to the past and reliving these fond memories. Um, but at the same time, he said you do have to realize that the past is something that you cannot change. And so regardless of which, um, you know, he said that the past is the past, but you can still move on to the future. Um, and so his work does feature some very interesting links between life and death. Right. I mean, uh, there uh, definitely what uh, what left a big impression on me is the one with the animal skull and mm -hmm. the um, and the one what looked like, uh, like tree, branches tree branches for, right? for antlers. Right. Um, a little, still, I say a little bit frightening for me, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. A little bit of a different approach, right? So um, he does take this, and he actually said with this piece, along with the tree, um, there's a legend that he likes to think about, and this legend says that, you know, as trees, the branches, they get higher, they get closer to the sky, they get, you know, more beautiful with time, but with each growth, with each inch up, you know, it gets closer to death, and the same thing with these antlers. But at the same time, um, these things are part of the circle of life, and so like with the antlers, they'll fall off, but it'll become something for the next round, the next cycle of life, you know, in the forest, in the nature. And so well, a very unique relationship. Yeah, very unique, very interesting, and very uh, different approach on things, mm -hmm. definitely. And, of course, uh, Brazil will be the focus of um, many, many people's attention for the next uh, week or so. Mm -hmm. So um, we will definitely be looking into his works as well. All right, Yuni, thank you so much for that. My pleasure.